What's up guys? Got some basic math for you today. Can't sleep equals record alive. So here we are. Uh, I got this team off of uh, NJMP server. I uh, you know you building. If you have not yet joined NJMP server, it's a huge hub for anything uh, competitive Pokemon. So uh, I'd really recommend it. I'll try to leave a link to the server and the link in the in the link down below, in the description down below uh, for you guys. Cool team, Mega Titar. It's uh, three attacks, offensive Zapdos essentially. Well, it's max speed. Max HP, uh, SD Bloom Doom, Bulu, uh, Shuka, Toxic, Ice Beam, Scald, Defog, uh, Empoleon, Rocks, Life Orb, Mamoswine, and uh, your standard Sub Toxic uh, Magma Storm Earth Power Heat Rent. So uh, let's get into a game. We have one right here with uh, what seems to be Veil Offense. Uh, not looking that great. Uh, I do want to lead off with Empoleon because it matches up well against. Uh, actually, Lando, Zygarde, and um, Ninetales, <clears throat> quite nicely. I'm going to go for Toxic, turn one. He goes for Hypnosis, very nice. I'm uh, going to go for Defog on his Veil. He goes for Hail over Veil. Very nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to try to go for uh, Defog here. We do stay asleep. Going to Defog again. And just get rid of the Veil as he brings in his Landorus. And the Veil is gone. So, very nice. Let's go for the Ice Beam as he goes for Stealth Rock. We are going to get rid of the Lando immediately. And uh, I don't like these rocks being up, personally. He's going to bring in his uh, Zygarde. Um, but I think I can deal with them being up. I don't think I need to necessarily defog them immediately. So I'm just going to beam. He's going to arrows. Uh, is it going to kill me through Shuka? No, it is not. It's hardly going to do any damage. And we are going to knock out the Zygarde impressively. And uh, he is going to bring in his Magirna. Now I expect some sort of setup. Let us go into Heat Ren. I should be able to deal with this thing. He goes for T Bolt. Very nice. As uh, now what I can do is actually go for a Magma Storm straight as he brings in his Manaphy. And uh, I am just going to Toxic this thing immediately as he goes for Surf. Does not knock me out thanks to Heat Ren's great bulk. And uh, I'm going to go for an Earth Power here. Uh, as he does go for Rain Dance, that's kind of scary because the Toxic is going to go away. Um, actually, what the hell, what the hell just happened? Um, uh, oh, the, the Magma Storm just killed him. That's what it was. Alright, so he gets back up Hail, that's not a problem. He can Hypnosis me if he wants to. Try to go for a Toxic. We do land it on the Ninetales, and, uh, he doesn't have good switch-ins to Magma Storm. I actually kind of want to keep this thing alive. Um, do I? No, I'll Storm. As he, uh, misses Hypnosis, unfortunately for my opponent. We are going to get off the Magma Storm right there. And um, should he put me to sleep? That would actually be kind of bad now that I think about it. Hmm. No, nah, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. Goes for Freeze Dry. It's his only attack move. Does nothing. We are going to knock out the Ninetales. Uh, if he wants to set up with a Magirna, that's not a problem. Brings in his Mawile. Uh, just going to go straight for the Magma Storm. Even if he sucker punches me, it's not the end of the world. Uh, should be fine against this thing. Uh, Mamoswine should still be able to do a ton. I uh, could also go Empoleon. I don't want him getting up a, um, a Swords Dance for free. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I think the way I do that is by going Zapdos first. Uh, uh, <laughs> or is... Yeah, because I need Mamoswine to be able to knock out the Magirna. So I want to wait till the Veil goes down. I actually want to put him in a position where he has to attack whatever is in. So let's go Zapdos first. Let's go for Heat Wave. As uh, Hale's about to wear, uh, to wear out. Heat Wave is going to do actually a very nice amount. He goes for the SD. Um, I'm just going to go for Heat Wave again because he shouldn't sucker on that turn. He's going to go for Play Rough. He can get static here. He does not, unfortunately. Uh, but it's fine. Can I kill Mawile through the Veil with... Um, with Bulu's Bloom Doom is the question. Tapu Bulu. Uh, Swords Dance. Uh, Woodhammer. Yeah, definitely. Actually, Woodhammer might be ju just be able to uh, knock it out. How many turns left on Veil? Two. So, actually, the play is... Uh, yeah, the play is Empoleon first. And just go for a Scald. He can't risk me burning him. So he has to attack me. There we go. Thunder Punch. Very nice. And then I think I go Bulu. I would hammer. And then I... Or I can actually go T-Tar here. 
Yeah, I can go T-Tar and Fire Punch. And that should be able to win me the game. As uh, we are able to knock out the Mawile. And I just Fire Punch here. I can also... No, just Fire Punch. That's fine. Uh, he's probably... Um, okay, we get the burn. Goes for the Shift Gear. And he forfeits. I guess he didn't have anything to hit T-Tar with. Um, he's probably T-Bolt Ice Beam. So... Almost lost that. If he had a flash cannon, that was looking pretty bad. Seems really weak to uh, fighting type megas. Specifically, uh, Metacham, Gallade, and uh, Lopany. Those three. Big, big problem to this team. Like, Zapdos getting a static para is the only way to deal with them. So, that's like the one big flaw. Everything else is, uh, is relatively well dealt with. So, I'm not too worried. But uh, I've been doing pretty well with the team. Uh, worked my way up the ladder. I had dropped a ton over the past couple of weeks. And uh, now that I'm kind of stabilized with Pokemon, like I, I had given up on Pokemon, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was like ready to quit. <laughs> so I was so, so close. I was just like, I do not want to play this game anymore. Nothing is going right. <coughs> and I, uh, sorry. And I held in there. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, by the quality, but I did get a new mic. I have a Yeti now. Um, and it's on my desk, so I don't have a, a mic flinging in my mouth anymore. And when I tap my desk, you probably hear that. So, uh, very, very sensitive. Uh, very cool mic, though. I love it. And it's got a little mute button on the front of it. It's got a volume control. I can plug in my, uh, my actual, my Sony headphones, uh, that I use for listening to music into this thing so that I can, uh, listen to myself. I can hear myself through the headphones. So, it's kind of cool. Um, we've got a standardish looking team. I would say this is kind of where the uh, meta has evolved to, uh, personally, in my opinion. So, I think I like the... I really like Mamoswine as a lead because I can switch into Bulu or Empoleon on Greninja most of the time. And Mamoswine kind of deals with everything else. So, I'm going to lead Mamo, as he does lead with Mew. Um, now, most Mew are actually faster than this. I'm going to go Tran. Hopefully, he's not the Earth Power variant. If he goes for Wisp, then I get off... Uh, he actually goes for Rocks. Okay, that's fine. Um, I really want to click Toxic. Yeah, let's go for Toxic. It might be Earth Power. Nothing I can do about it in that case. I'm not going to scout for it. He's going to go into Latios on my Toxic. Very nice. And, uh, he's probably Surf, is what I'm thinking. I'm going to go hard in Polion. Even if he tricks, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, he does go for tricks, so... I could have switched in my Bulu and, uh, kind of ruined that for him. But I'm going to go for Defog here. Get rid of these rocks. And uh, we'll move on from there. Goes into Magirna. That's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go hard Mamoswine on this thing. Uh, because of T-Bolt and Volt Switch. I expect this thing to be AV. Maybe coupled with a physically defensive Tangrowth. Uh, it could also be set up, but I don't expect it. So, we'll see. Uh, as we do get in our Mamoswine. As he goes for a Shift Gear. Uh, that does not look great. I'm going to uh, double out into Heatran in case he is Flash Cannon. Uh, because most of these are um, Calm Mind... Calm Mind, Shift Gear, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam at this point. That's the most common set that I've seen. So, I'm going to start the timer on this guy. Um, yeah, so I'm uh, going to bring in Heatran on the Latios. Um, I mean, what reason do I have to not go into Empoleon? Not any, really. Yeah, Empoleon's always the play. So, why was he fearing my Mamoswine? Because he can't touch it. He can't beat it with Ice Beam or with Thunderbolt. So he's only Ice Beam, Thunder Thunderbolt. Okay. So we're going to get in our uh, Empoleon against Zygarde. Not the greatest. Uh, I'm going to double out into Bulu. As he does bring out the Magirna again. Um, but pretty much indicated to me that he can't hit my Mamoswine. Um, which means he shouldn't be able to hit my Heatran either. For super effective damage. So I'm going to double right out into Heatran. As uh, he doubles out into Mew. And now I am going for a sub here. And he goes for Stealth Rocks. So unless he has Earth Power, he can't hit me. And uh, Toxic is relatively safe still. Um, because the best thing he can go into here, I believe, is Zygarde. And uh, Zygarde's going to take a Toxic. So that's quite nice. As uh, if he is banded, I get to see what move he locks himself into. So I'm just going to go for an Earth Power. And it is going to be Thousand Arrows. Uh, now I could make a Ballsy Read here. Heatran is so good this game though. Uh, that I do not feel that I need to make a read like that. Now keep in mind I am Choice Scarfed Empoleon. 
So I can actually defog still on like Magirna and stuff. Um, I'm gonna make the pl play out into Bulu. I know it's obvious. Um, I'm very much aware of that. But he is gonna thousand arrows again. I couldn't risk it. Uh, maybe the fact that I took so much time set him off. So we'll go for Horn Leech here. Um, it should do a decent amount to whatever comes in, except maybe Tangrowth. Mew is a switch in. Okay, that's good stuff. That's uh, great health right there. I'll take it any day. Uh, and Mew. Let me actually calc that real quick because Mew took that really well. Uh, Bulu, Swordsant, uh, we adamant. Now we're Jolly. Jolly, Horn Leech, 45 to 53. Okay, so it's max HP. It can still be running a lot of speed. So, um, safe plays, Heat Rent, for sure. As he is going to go for a Will Wisp. Awesome. So we're going to get a Flash Fire boost. And uh, free sub. Free sub. Every time. Because uh, Zygarde comes in. Yes, it gets the Grassy Terrain Recovery. But if I hit it with a uh, Magma Storm, we're going to be good to go. So. Let's go for the sub. Uh, I'm getting the grassy terrain as well, and as long as I am, I think what I'm actually going to do is sub. Because I can bring this in on Mew later, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to get up another sub here, as now he's actually going to start losing health. He's going to take 12% from that, and I'm going to go for the Magma Storm. He goes for the Thousand Arrows again. Uh, let's see how much this does. Zero. Alright. Makes sense. Uh, let's go Bulu again. Uh, his Zygarde is now in range of a... Uh, flash fire boosted magma storm plus toxic as long as uh, grassy terrain isn't up I believe so I'm gonna get in Bulu here for pretty much free as he goes for another thousand arrows and um, It's actually a little bit of a problem because I don't recover a lot and he actually ends up critting me which is bad uh, Because this is a pretty big well actually Bulu doesn't do anything in this game So it's not a big deal If he brings in Magirna, I am straight up bloom dooming that thing I don't need, I do not even care. <laughs> like, it's it's catching a Bloom Doom, one way or another. Uh, the big problem is, is Greninja, because now my uh, Empoleon is Choice Scarfed, and my Bulu is low. So, uh, I just want to see how much Magirna, because I know it's Shift Gear, versus Bulu, Woodhammer, um, Z, does 68 to 80. That's some pretty good damage. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm content with that damage, so we will get that off. That's 75%. Very nice. He goes for shift gear, and uh, I think I'm going hard heat ran. So we got off a really good amount of damage on this Magirna, as he's probably going to either, uh, yeah, ice beam or flash cannon was the, uh, but I knew he didn't have flash cannon because he didn't stay in on a magma swine earlier. So we just go for a magma storm here. Is it focus blast? It is all up pummeling. Okay. Uh, can I deal with that still? Um, no. That's pretty bad actually. So he still needs to hit the Focus Blast, like, three times. Well, twice, because Empoleon doesn't threaten him. So, we'll go off of that. We'll go off the uh, Focus Blast Mist. It should be uh, Ice Beam, Focus Blast, and... Um, Thunderbolt. He does hit the first one, so that's kind of bad. We'll try to uh, get him on this one. Uh, it's looking bleak. It's definitely looking bleak. Please miss. Miss, 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 miss. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> Clearly doesn't want to, but uh, I don't have a choice at this point. This is my play. Yeah, because Empoleon, I mean, even if I dodge the Focus Blast, then what? And I scald him for like zero? Alright, so he does miss the Focus Blast. Whew! Uh, situation averted for now, but Greninja is still looming in the back. <laughs> And there it is. So, uh, Empoleon is my play. Empoleon is my city. And, um, yeah, if he can connect a couple of Hydro Pumps, we are in bad shape. Uh, he does miss the first one, however. I'm gonna Toxic. I w okay, I was hoping that he would actually stay in with Greninja, because if I got off a Toxic on that, that would be really good. Um, I can't Defog. That's annoying. Alright, we'll go Zap. If he knocks, then he knocks. Actually, I should probably Toxic again, in case he clicks Knock Off. Let's hope he does. Goes for Giga Drain. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go Zapdos, because Empoleon can still take any one hit from Greninja, as long as it's not an Ash form. 
So he's gonna go for Earthquake, very nice. And uh, I think that is a... I really wanna double into Empoleon to get rid of these rocks because Zapdos needs to be healthy to be able to take a hit from Greninja. Like that's my only way out of this. So yeah, I'm gonna double into Empoleon. As he goes for the knockoff. Okay, so he gets rid of my choice scarf, which is nice. Because now I can actually just click uh, Defog. If he wants to knock me out, cool. If he wants to switch out, cool. Either one is fine. So he's going to knock me out with the Earthquake. That is fine. And now I can bring in... Bring in Zapdos and click HP Ice. Uh, yeah, I think that's the play. Bring in Zapdos and click... Just click HP Ice. And knock this thing out. Alright, so now we're at 88%. Uh, he would have to go into Latios to knock me out. Um, because I don't think Gren has anything to knock me out. Goes into Mew. Um, so I think Bulu should be my play here. Yeah, Bulu's my play. Let's see if he... Yeah, he goes for Stealth Rock. That's a good play. Um, he has Will-O-Wisp. Let's go for Woodhammer and hope he's slower. He is not. So he's going to be able to take this all day. Um, so Mamoswine's slower as well. Let's go for Swords Dance as he soft boils. Uh, let's see what his last move is. Is it Psychic? Let's find out. Probably should have just Discharged, honestly, because I can't be Parrot anyway. Yeah, it is Psychic. Uh, Alright, so we'll go Zap, and we'll try to Discharge Para this. And we'll try to Roostall it. As we do get the Para right away, which is nice, as he gets fully Parrot. And we will Discharge again. Try to lower this thing. He does go for Wisp. Can we get a few of these? Let's find out. You might hear that, because I do. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you do hear that in the back. Um, I kind of want to go directly into Mamoswine. No, nah, I need my health first. As he is going to go for Psychic repeatedly. Alright, so we're going to keep going for Roost. Until he gets full Parad. So he's not getting full Parad. He even crits me there. He's eventually going to spit F drop me if this keeps going. Okay, he gets two crits in a row. No full Paras. This is uh, incredible. Still no full paras, as he gets full para there. Okay, so we'll go Mamoswine. I should be able to live a Psychic, and then we'll Earthquake, and hope that it puts him in range of uh, Discharge, which it does not, it seems. But he does get full para again. Very, very tempted to go for Ice School Crash here. I don't think it makes a difference, though. I'm just going to Earthquake, yeah. All right. So I think uh, Gren comes in here and uh, ruins my day. <laughs> um... Actually, it depends. If he chokes and goes for Hydro Pump and misses, uh, I can still win. In fact, I automatically win. So we'll click Earthquake. Hopefully he pumps. Let's see it. Uh, he goes for Dark Pulse. That's the correct play. And uh, Zapdos stands no chance against this. We will go for Discharge. And he Dark Pulse and kill <laughs> just straight up kills me. So that's a loss. That's fine. Uh, so we got a Metacham. And uh, this is what I was worried about, <laughs> is that damn Metacham. Uh, we'll lead Zapdos. I think that's the correct play against Metacham, is to just lead Zapdos. And uh, normally they fake out into Ice Punch, but I don't think that kills Zap from many. Mega Metacham versus Zapdos. Uh, three attacks, so... No bulk investment, realistically. This is actually 206. Okay. Um, fake out into Ice Punch actually has a very good chance of killing uh, from Jolly. So, I mean, it's a speed tie regardless, so I'll just go for the... Uh, just go for the fake out. Okay, cool. So we get the, uh, the para immediately, which is awesome. And I'm actually going to... No, just discharge. Just discharge. That is the play. As he brings in his Gengar, risks it getting Parrot as well. It does not, but that's okay. Uh, he has to fear Titar, I feel. Um, nothing I can really do about that. I mean, okay, so Mamoswine's really good this game because it 2 a KOs Finny, uh, revenges Lando, revenges a weakened Coco, and can revenge Metacham as well now that it's paralyzed. So Empoleon is my play. <laughs> As he goes for Shadow Ball, and that is Specs 100%. Um, which means I go T-Tar here, and I'm able to take it. 
as he's actually going to make a nice double into Medicham. Very, very nice play. Uh, but I can go Zapdos, because if he high jump kicks, then one, he can miss, two, he can get parried, and three, I resist that, so very nice. Uh, we will just go for the discharge again. Uh, as we get off a nice 49% right there, he goes for Ice Punch, knocks me out, but the important part was paralyzing Metacham, so that is done, and um, Polion's not faster. I kind of want to make it a little bit faster on this thing, but I know that its EV spread is that way for a reason. Um, Titar can win very, very easily. Uh, we will go Mamoswine. Mamoswine is nice here because I can just Earthquake. As long as he doesn't have Bullet Punch, I should be good. Which he shouldn't be carrying. It should be uh, Thunder Punch on a team with Coco, especially. And uh, we do knock out the Metacham. Fantastic. Uh, the only thing faster, I believe, dies. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Gengar, Choice Specs versus Mamoswine. I just want to calc this real quick. Physical Attacker, Adamant, Life Orb, Ice Shard, 54 to 64. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, let's go Heatran. I see no problem with going into Heat Ren. He goes for Gyro Ball, predicting me to attack. Very nice. And uh, I actually want to double in a Bulu here. Predicting is Finny to want to come out. Because he shouldn't stay in, right? If he has like Bulldoze or something, <laughs> at least it won't do anything. Uh, he should go Finny. He actually goes Gengar. Wow. That is ballsy. You know what else is ballsy? Me going for Woodhammer here on his Shadow Ball or his Focus Blast. Yep. Beautiful. So that is a uh, dead Gengar. Goodbye. <laughs> that worked out better than expected. Um, Bulu can keep coming in on Finny, and it threatens his entire team. His Coco comes in, obviously a problem. Uh, I think at this point I can sack Empoleon, because I don't need it for anything else. Yeah. So just hard Empoleon. We'll get to see what kind of Coco this is. And then I can actually bring in my Titar if I want to. Or I can bring in Bulu first to get up the grassy terrain and then bring in Titar. Could be the play. But as long as his Finny's alive, that doesn't really work. So I may want to try to get rid of that thing first. Mamoswine's going to be my ticket to doing that. Because uh, two Life Orb Adamant Earthquakes do a ton to Finny. Of course, it could have a lot of speed investment and outspeed me, but, you know, it happens. So Empoleon actually <laughs> he ends up going for U-turn. He is Life Orb. That's good to know. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, Landorus does come in here. Uh, if he wants to get up his rocks, he's going to die. So he has to uh, Earthquake me. And I can bring in Mamoswine now and actually just go for the Stealth Rocks. And should Finny come in, it has to Defog. Uh, so Finny does come in. And we will Earthquake. I don't care if he's faster. I don't care if he kills me. Uh, because once my blue comes in, it's pretty much over. His Ferrothorn actually decides to come in, thinking that it can take two of these, which it cannot if it doesn't have Protect. So we will just Earthquake again. Uh, it does have Protect. Um, I will Earthquake again. Because I actually expect him to Leech Seed on my switch to Heat Ren. As crazy as that sounds, <laughs> um, I do expect him to Leech Seed. I don't expect him to Gyro Ball because it didn't work out for him last time, and now he doesn't have... Uh, great course of action against my Heatran. So he actually ends up going Coco and sacking it. Fantastic. Okay, so that thing's out of the way. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sacru is Dalton, or whatever your name is. Uh, in comes Finny. I think just Earthquake is fine. We do a ton to that. Awesome. He goes for Scald. That's cool. Um, Scald's not a problem for T-Tar, his Ferrothorn's too low, his Lando can still be Scarf though, so I want to get rid of the terrain. First and foremost, uh, and knowing that Mamoswine was faster than this, so is Bulu, as he ends up going to Ferrothorn, fantastic, we'll go for Superpower straight away. I'll click Superpower twice, I don't care that he has a Lando, because I need that thing weakened, uh, for Ice Punch if it is defensive, so I'll go for, uh, Superpower twice. And if it's not defensive, then we get to find out from the damage. And I'll actually bring that up. Um, Bulu, Swords Dance versus Lando. Uh, let's say it's Choice Scarf. Uh, superpower at plus two. Um, after the Intimidate, we'll do 36 to 43, so we click Superpower again. 
We end up knocking out the Ferrothorn, which is cool. So Heatran is expendable, is what, I, uh, what I'm getting from that. As he ends up going into his Landorus, so I am going to go into Heatran straight away. Um, and I think that Lando... Definitely not with Stone Edge, that's not what's knocking me out. Uh, I'm under the impression he scarfed Finny. Oh wait, Heatran. I just want to see something uh, for future reference. OU Trapper. I'm max HP, 377. Yes, I am. Uh, or a lot. Not exactly max, but quite a bit. 216 Earthquake in Grassy Terrain. is 89 to 105, so it actually yeah, is not guaranteed to knock you out. That's cool. Um, so I'll just go for Magma Storm here. I don't care if he switches out to Finny. That's fine. As uh, we can just go for the Storm. We lock him in. And uh, because I found out earlier that his um, Finny was slower than my Mamoswine, it means that it's also slower than my Heatran. And uh, should he lock himself into Earthquake, he loses to Bulu. So Magma Storm is always my play. And I'm convinced he's scarfed at this point. So we'll go into Bulu and we will click uh, Bloom Doom. And if he's not scarfed, uh, then, yeah, which he is, as you can see, uh, then I would have gone to Titar and just Ice Punched because we are in grassy terrain and the Earthquake was weakened. So down goes that. We'll get one more. We're 26 minutes. So I uh, just wanted to showcase off this team because it's pretty good in general. Uh, I like how Titar looks this game. Woo! Titar looks really strong. Like, with everything chipped just a tad, Titar wins. With one DD up. Like, it's over. <laughs> That's all it needs. Um, he also has a Mega Titar, I believe. Sandrush Drill. Uh, I'm thinking Scarf Lele. Maybe Magnet, Coco. Um, it's probably Defensive Celesteela, as well as Defensive Hippo. Uh, probably not Leftovers. I'm thinking uh, Smooth Rock on the Hippo. Either way, Empoleon is actually a really good lead for me. As he leads off with Celesteela. Now, everybody clicks Leech Seed, turn one. It doesn't matter. I'm still going for Scald regardless. Uh, I can live Excadrill's Earthquake because of the uh, Shookaberry even after this round of Leech Seed. I can definitely live Hippo's Earthquake. That's just what I'm trying to do is just live Earthquakes. So I'm going to try to burn the Celesteela. Uh, if I get a burn off, obviously it's not a threat to Heatran. Um, now, he's definitely going to Leech Seed again. But there's not much I can do about that. Uh, well, actually, I can go Bulu first. He's definitely going to Leech Seed again. There's no chance he doesn't Leech Seed first. Yeah. And then we go Heatran on the Heavy Slam or Flamethrower. And we take it quite well. And if he Leech Seeds again, then kudos to him. He goes for Air Slash. Awesome. So we are going to get off a free substitute here and be able to Toxic either the Titar or the uh, Hippo or get off a Magma Storm on something else. So it's looking nice. As he goes into Titar, so we are going to go for Toxic immediately. We are faster than Megatar if it doesn't DD up as well, so I can keep subbing on it if I want to. Uh, alternatively, I can go into something like uh, Bulu, which shouldn't drop to an Ice Punch or a Fire Punch, uh, and more than likely he would be going for Stone Edge anyway, if, uh, if he is in fact Megatar, which he should be on this team. Either way, I get off a of Toxic here. Uh, he's actually going to double into his Celesteela. That doesn't matter because I just get to go for Magma Storm again and he can't do anything with this. So I don't understand him doubling back to Celeste. Um, he goes into Hippo. That like, Again, that's fine. He just takes a huge, huge Magma Storm. And in fact, I can knock out his Hippo now if I want to. Um, which I will. With Magma Storm plus the, uh, the Recoil. I get in Bulu. Um, which is actually bad because his hippo stays above rock range, which is annoying. Now, now nah, I'm going to horn leech. Like, I don't care that he has Celesteela because I would rather knock out the hippo and not let him get up rocks if that's his rocker. And it, it's looking like it is. So I'm going to go hard heat run this time. I'm not going to stay in as he doubles into Tar. So nice play. Well, nice play, depending on what he has. Um, I'm going to go hard in Polion, actually, because the grassy terrain is still up. As he goes for DD. Okay, cool. And uh, we're just going to Scald. Like, I have no reason not to Scald here. 
If he's Earthquake, again, Grassy Terrain and Shooka Berry should make it so that he does like 20% to me. Um, maybe not 20, maybe like more like 30, but anyway, he goes for another DD. If I get the burn here, it's awesome as we do not. But again, the only move that he could knock me out with is Earthquake and I do have the Shooka Berry. I should be able to live even plus two T-Tars Earthquake, maybe. Maybe, maybe I'm underestimating T-Tar, but um, if he does end up knocking me out, I think I lose to T-Tar. Perhaps. It depends on what he has for... Well, if he has Earthquake, then I definitely lose if he's like Earthquake Stone Edge. But he goes for Fire Punch, revealing that he doesn't have Earthquake, which is nice. Uh, are we going to get the burn? We do. So that's awesome. Uh, if he goes for another Fire Punch, which I'm kind of expecting him to, I can get in my Heat Ran. So he ends up forfeiting uh, because of the burn. I mean, he stayed in twice on Empoleon with uh, with his T-Tar. So, I mean, it was bound to happen at some point. That's what Skull does, boys and girls. That's what it does. We're going to get one more. Uh, I'm just feeling this team. Feeling really good. We got that one loss, but other than that, everything's been going pretty good. Yeah, uh, I'm enjoying laddering again. It's it's nice. It's calm. I'm not uh, I'm not complaining. So yeah, guys. Uh, NPL miners started up as you guys know. Uh, what else is there? UPA. UP. I'm back in the UPA. I'm gonna be applying to the D League for the GBA. If you guys didn't already know, uh, that's been a long time coming. And also, uh, I'm in the NBA as a little side thing. We've got Clan Wars still going on. We've got Olympics going on. Uh, we've got actually two sorts of Clan Wars. One's a League War and one's a Clan War. Uh, we've got the <laughs> the PCL, which died out, but we're still uh, completing a little mini tournament for ourselves, like to um, just to uh, find a winner essentially. We just wanted to make sure that we had a clear cut winner, so. Gonna lead off with Zapdos. Uh, I might lose this game simply because of the pressure of Lele plus uh, Megalopony is really tough for this team. So, like, <laughs> I hate how fighting weak this team is. It's really annoying. He leads off with the Hilego on top of that. I'm gonna go straight into Empoleon. Don't really care. If he goes for rocks, I can defog them away. Uh, as that's exactly what I am going to do. I am not letting these things stay up. Thank you very much. I need my Zapdos for his Lopony, so. If he goes into Zygarde, I can Ice Beam him, which is what I'm going to be intending to do. Uh, if he goes into Kartana, I have Heat Ran. Well, not really. Uh, he goes into Lele. All right, that's fine. So you have a fighting move somewhere up your sleeve. You wouldn't just go into this. Right? Right? Am I, am I insane? I'm going to Toxic. Okay, he's got T-Bolt. That's fine. All right. Now, he should expect my Mammoth Swine to come out. As a result, I expect him to go into uh, probably Kartana, but I'm going to Scald anyway. He goes Masquerade. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. So we're going to get off a of Scald right there and do 53% to this thing. And I'm actually going to spam Defog because I don't want webs up. I do not want webs up this game. So no matter if he clicks Quiver, no matter if he clicks webs, obviously... Uh, I'm going to be defogging them away, so. Uh, and I'm actually going to Scald on this turn, because I expect him to... Okay, well, he goes for webs. That's fine. Whatever. That's okay. Uh, Zygarde? Question mark? <laughs> Is that the play? <laughs> Zygarde comes in on my Beaming. Like, I know it looks like I'm sacking my only answer to Nihiligo, but I ha keep in mind I have a Mega Tyranitar, so... Uh, Zapdos deals with this. I don't care about this. He goes for a Z move, which is Bloom Doom. That is going to do way too much because of the crit. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's really annoying. All right. Um, so what do we do here? Because he can knock me out now, right? Kartana. Versus Zapdos, if you didn't get that crit, man. Uh, three attacks, weak blade, 27 to 32. Yeah, he does. All right, so what are our options here? Hmm. Okay, we go Heat Ran <coughs> on the leaf blade. 
He actually went for Sacred Sword. Wow. Okay. Um. I mean, sure. Uh, does Smart Strike kill Bulu? Probably. Sword Dance. 92 to 109. Yeah, it does. God damn it. Alright, um. I'm gonna go into Zapdos. I'm gonna try to get the, uh, you know, the thingy. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, he has to hit me one more time. You see, that wouldn't have killed. And he would have been dead. I don't know why he made that play. Leaf Blade is your better play. And now he, he just made himself... He gave himself two chances to get static essentially. And he doesn't get it, of course. Um, like, I don't have a play here. I don't know how I have a play at all. Yeah, that's game. I mean, there's a chance he doesn't have Smart Strike. Which I would be shocked if he doesn't. Let's click Superpower. I guess. It's about all I can do. Of course, he had to crit Bloom Doom, man. I could have roosted easily. That's annoying. Getting one more. I'm not ending it on a loss. You guys know me. I'm not ending it on a loss. That's 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 insane, though. That that did that much. 84. Crazy. Come on, man. Does he actually not have Smart Strike? Like, what? <laughs> what is taking you so long? I'm gonna look for another game right away because I know I lost this. Like, this is over. Unless he doesn't have Smart Strike. Alright, this looks like an annoying team. Um, doesn't every team look annoying? Kind of. So, Mamoswine's a decent lead. Um, Greninja's gonna lead against me, though. So, I'll lead Empoleon. Yep. And... I think that's a free Toxic. As long as he's not T-Spikes. So, finally, he decides to click his move. So, that's gonna be a good game. So, we'll move on to this one. And, uh, yeah, so we'll just go for Toxic. If he decides to go for Dark Pulse, that's cool. If he goes for U-Turn and reveals that he's Protean, that's better. He is Protean, but he is, uh, T-Spikes. Uh, so I can't Toxic him even. Oh, I missed, but I'm gonna go for, uh, Defog. Okay, so he ends up, uh, taunting me. Not a big deal, I can just Scald here. And I, I don't get the point of this. Like, you're get, getting up hazards, okay, cool. I am going to scald you, and something is going to get burnt. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes down, man. I'm telling you, Polion is the king of burnt. And Polion and I would say Keldeo, Polion and Keldeo, Suicune. Those three. Those three are like the biggest burners. Come on, man. I know your T spikes taunt, spikes, and like U turn. You're something ridiculous. Come on, there we go, spikes. Sash? Do we see Sash? Uh, we don't even get to the Sash. We end up burning him, so that works. I'm gonna Ice Beam. Earthquake, Shuka, cool. He crits me. He doesn't end up killing me. Ice Beam is going to knock him out. Fantastic. So that's gone. Uh, in comes Thunderous. Thunderoso. Alright. Um, so Focus Blast is obviously a problem. He's not gonna set up in front of this, because he knows that I have Ice Beam. He knows that it took out his, uh, his Garchomp. So I expect a Thunderbolt straight away. I'm going to go hard into Mamoswine. Please don't set up. Don't be that guy. Goes for knockoff. Gets rid of my Life Orb. No big deal. He is not Life Orb himself. Uh, I'm just going to Ice Shard. Get off as much damage as possible. Not let him set up. He goes for Hidden Power. Ends up knocking me out because of the poison. He's Leftovers. So knockoff, Hidden Power. What, Super Power? You're probably Super Power, right? That's Hidden Power Ice for sure. Uh, Thunderbolt from a Leftovers variant will not kill Zapdos. So Zapdos is my play. And we will Heat Wave, I believe. Uh, no, let's just play it safe. Let's go for Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, Thunderbolt does nothing. And uh, HP Ice will be able to knock him out. So that's good. Uh, I can discharge para, para the Mimikyu, which is what I'm going to be going for. He goes into Mawile, though, first. So that is Heat Wave, 100%. As we get that off, and uh, he goes for Sword Dance, I'm going to Roost on his Sucker Punch, as he does not click Sucker Punch, and he goes for Knock Off, okay. So we're going to go into Heat Ren, and we're going to click Earth Power. Uh, as he does Sucker Punch that time, but it doesn't knock me out. Again, I could have sub there, so. Uh, he goes into Mimikyu, I will go for the Toxic here, as he ends up going for the Shadow Claw, that is fine. Uh, I will go into Bulu. Uh, and just Horn Leech a couple of times. This should be Z, right? Let's go for Horn Leech. 
goes for the sword dance. I uh, get red carded out into Empoleon, which is unfortunate. However, I am in Torrent. So I'm gonna go for Scald. He goes for Shadow Claw, knocks me out. Okay. Uh, gonna go into Bulu. And. Is there a way for me to win this? I have to go for Bloom Doom. He goes for Play Rough, and he ends up knocking me out. Okay, so I have to dodge Play Rough. That's the only way I win, is if I dodge Play Rough. Which I do not, so we're getting one more, guys. <laughs> you already know. You already know how that played out. Uh, okay, we got a Blissey. Alright, I should be able to win this one. <laughs> Alright? No, like, like, all jokes aside, this should be a piece of cake. So, uh, let's lead off with what? What, 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 what? Uh, Mammal has a decent lead. Uh, Titar looks nice. Bulu. Uh, if he leads off with... I don't want him leaning hair across. I want to dodge that possibility. If at all possible. <laughs> Let's lead here, and Okay, he leads token kiss. That's fine. Uh, and we'll go for a Toxic. Turn one. As he goes for Hidden Power Ground. And uh, he seems to be offensive in some fashion. We'll go into Zapdos. Because I need my... Uh, my thingy around. What's he gonna go into on this? Blissey, right? Alright, so let's take advantage of that. Let's go Mamoswine. There's Blissey. Hey, Bliss. Alright, we're gonna get a Brox. As he decides to stay in and get up his own rocks, I'm gonna go for Ice School Crash. As he stays in, I could have killed him with the Earthquake potentially. He goes for Seismic Toss, so he doesn't care about his Blissey. I'm just gonna Ice School Crash again. And we are gonna knock that thing out. Beautiful. All right, now what? Huh? Now what? I'm assuming Heracross. Uh, he goes Togekiss. Okay. Interesting. We'll go Zabdos. Are you going to Dazzling Glade me? Like, what are you going to do? Air Slash? Yeah, that does very minimal damage. We're going to go for Roost. On this turn, he goes for another Air Slash. Does not get the flinch, luckily. And we'll go for HP Ice. Hopefully predicting the pout on. He actually ends up going into Lele. Could have discharged. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm killing myself here. Um, I think Empoleon is my play. As he goes for a Calm Mind. Oh no. Toxic. Please don't be T-Bolt. Come on, dude. Don't be T-Bolt. Okay, good. He is Psychic, so, and he's Life Orb, so we should be able to wear this down with a combination of Toxic plus... Uh, he's definitely not going for Psychic here because I have T-Tar, right? Right? <laughs> I would think. Uh, so we'll go for Scald. He actually does go for uh, Psychic, okay. Um, Alright, we'll go Heat Ran and double into T-Tar. Like, I could have gone T-Tar there, and he would have taken a lot more damage. Then I could have sacked my Empoleon. Like, okay, he, he ends up going for Moonblast against my Heatran. Okay. Cool stuff, cool stuff. All right, his terrain went down, so I can go for Ice Shard here. His uh, Togekiss should also be in range of Ice Shard. And uh, now it comes down to, can I beat the combination of Heracross plus the Sand Core? That is the question. I still have my Zapdos alive. He brings in his Excadrill. All right, um, he still has a sand for quite a few turns. Uh, this is tough. I'm gonna go zap. He should earthquake. He ends up going for iron head again on something. Okay, well, I mean, it was my mammoth swine, but you know. Uh, we'll go for roost. He ends up going for swords dance. We get off the roost, and uh, my heat rend can come in after, right? No, my nothing can come in after. We'll just heat wave. He ends up going for sub for some reason. I'm not sure why, because now I outspeed him. And I think he thought that I couldn't touch him. Maybe. Oh, uh, or he can't touch me. All right, that's also a plausible uh, deduction. So we'll end up getting rid of Excadrill. Now things are looking a little bit better. It really depends on how fast his Heracross is. Uh, he ends up bringing in Hippo. I'm going to Roost on this thing. He ends up going for Toxic. Okay, that's fine. I have a Bulu, though. 
What are you doing? Um... Trend does outspeed this. But it doesn't outspeed Togekiss, but I have Mamoswine still alive. Uh, so I think that... I think going Heat Rend is actually my play. As he goes for Roar. So Heat Rend's gonna die, but... He doesn't have Icicle Crash switch-ins. And like, yes, he can kill my Mamoswine right here. Like, he will live, obviously. He's a hippo. Um, maybe, maybe. Maybe I'm underestimating Hippowdon right now. Apparently. <laughs> okay, well, there goes that. Uh, if he goes Kiss, I will shard. I will 100% shard. And he lets his Togekiss go down. Fantastic. So now it comes down to... Can Zapdos deal enough damage to Heracross to put it in range of Bulu's uh, Bloom Doom? So let's find out. This is a lot harder game than I thought. Okay, so he is Mega Heracross. Awesome. I was fearing Scarf there f f for a second. That was going to be, like, devastating. Uh, he ends up going down to Sand, which ends up outlasting longer than I expected. So I can just HP Ice here, and the game's over. Yep, there we go. He ends up close combating, too, and getting static <laughs> Awesome. All right. So uh, we'll end it off there. Uh, a lot longer than I was expecting, but uh, it's a pretty cool team. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Obviously, like I said, guys, go and check out NJNP server. Uh, down in the description as well. He's uh, so invested into Pokemon like you should see a server it, the, the number of channels on there uh, Like it exceeds the GOT and the GOT has like way too many as is uh, As well as <laughs> like the NPL so definitely go check that out if you want to get access to some brand new teams that people are building every day uh, He hosts this thing ca called Town Hall. You can check that out when you get there But yeah, uh, go and see that try out the team if you'd like like I said pays been in the description and uh, that's it. Catch you guys later. Ciao.